Um, I want to say hi to Lady Fisher, who's over on Facebook. Is Julie? Hi, Julie. I'm so glad. Hey, Julie. How funny is it that you're the only person on Facebook watching? <laughs> Facebook doesn't like me because of Mark Zuckerchuch. How dare you, Zuckerchuch? Hold on now, man, man. I got a question for you, Zuckerchuch. You're there in your ivory tower, right? Looking down at all your subjects. Oh, I don't like this guy. I don't like that guy. He doesn't say what I want him to say. Let me just put him into a cage over there. Oh, let's just shut off his reach. How about we shut off the faucet so he can't even get water? He's going to go outside to turn the faucets on. It's going to be like... What the hell happened to my freaking water? Zuckerchuched. I'm sorry. You you didn't know you were Zuckerchuched? How dare you? Oh, you got 64 million friends and two people saw you live. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Zuckerchuched. Okay. So basically, that's when you go live for two years. Every single day. For like two hours plus, right? And two people see you when you're on the air. That's called a Zuckerchuch. It's also when people think you don't exist. They're like, oh, who's that guy? That's a Zuckerchuch. Also, if you say anything towards positivity, Zuckerchuch. I'm sorry. You're going to be positive? We don't do that here on Facebook. I'm sorry. We got to shut it down. <laughs> Oh, Sonny, what are we doing here? <laughs> We're going to take positivity now? No, that's right. We follow Zuckerchuch's rules. That's right. I'm sorry. You come to my table and you pay respect. <laughs> but I could just turn off the faucet anyway, even if you pay respect. You could pay respect and I can still shut off your faucet. Because I'm a Zuckerchuch. When I want to be Zuckerchuch, I give it. How dare you? You don't understand the policies and practices of a soccer chooch? Oh, let me go through it. It's 7,246 pages. They all say, bliggity bliggity blue. And you're going to not read it all? You don't want to read bliggity bliggity blue 63,466 times? And then say, oh, it's not you? I can't figure you out. You don't understand? That two plus two is four? If you're in America, if you're in the Bronx, it's a freaking biscuit and you're express. Uh, you don't know this? I'm sorry. Hold on a minute. I got a question. So you're like the manufacturer of my biscuit, right? You make a million biscuit a day, right? You can't siphon off like one out of every ten. And drop it in a friggin' truck, <laughs> marked Fotch, and have some guy mysteriously drop him off in the middle of the night, <laughs> right by my friggin' table right here. I'm there. I'm still there. I got my express. I'm running out of a scout. I'm running out of a scout over here. What are you doing to me? I can't think of it. I'm Sunny. Let me borrow a biscuit. I'll get you back. <laughs> Sonny, come on. You can't share a biscuit with a guy. How dare you, Sonny? How dare you? Uh, I gotta tell you, I've known Sonny since 64. He can't share a friggin' biscuit with Fotch. I can't calculate sometimes the imbecility of people. What are you, an imbecile? I can't figure it out. Uh, somebody talk to me. What are we doing? Uh, hold on a minute. I'm trying to tell you a story. Uh, so Fatch goes to the Biscout factory. Talk to the foreman. I'm like, yo, let me get to the foreman. They're like, oh, Fatch, we usually don't let people go and, and speak to the foreman. I'm like, how dare you? I'm the foreman. I tell them what, what to do. Okay, I'm going to tell the guy to stand up, to come over, sit down, because I got a couple freaking things to say to him. <laughs> okay? So he sits me down. <laughs> this freaking foreman comes sitting up. Yippity, 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 How can I help you, Mr. Farce? How dare you? How dare you? That's all I got to say. You can't do better than that? Unbelievable. I'm trying to figure you out. <laughs> So you sit down with this stupid clipboard, right? 
You got a couple questions to get through. A, B, C. How about it's F? <laughs> Go F yourself. If you can't give the fatch, what do you mean? So, okay, what fatch needs is very simple. <laughs> I want a friggin' case of biscuit every 15 minutes on the hour. You better ship that thing up there on its own private courier service, okay? Fudge Unlimited 5,000. You're gonna ship me one tomorrow, okay? If you don't do that, we're gonna have a problem, okay? First of all, the fact that you came over here going yippity yippity to you without a, hey, Mr. Fudge, I got respect coming at you. How oh, there you are! That's what you do? I'm a little lost for words. Hold on, not bad. Wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm trying to tell you a story. You're walking away. I'm... Sonny, you can't even keep the attention of somebody anymore. They're just like, I'm going to be walking away. What, do you got something better to do? What are you doing? You're going to buy freaking sheets for your bed today? Like, what are you, where are you going? Oh, I gotta go buy a weed whacker. Where are you going? What are you doing? You, you think you got more important things to do than talk to Dick freaking Fosh? <laughs> Hold on now, man. Then. Let me tell you a story. You guys know the real story behind Fosh? I've been sitting at this table for 54 years. <laughs> Ever since my mother kicked me out of the womb. <laughs> That's right! She kicked me out of the womb! Uh, hold on now, man. I was in there. I was tying my shoes. I was working on a puzzle. I was trying to look for the corner piece, right? I'm in there reading a book. I was reading Moby Dick, special copy. Hard cover. She's gonna kick me out of the womb? How dare she? Hold on now, man. But Ma, she comes over, right, for Christmas. <laughs> She's like, oh, Fudge, I got a turkey for the kids. <laughs> I'm like, that's great, Ma, what, what, are you, what are you freaking doing? <laughs> what are you doing? She goes, oh, Fudge, I'm here to, to see the kids. I said, you kicked me out of the freaking womb. <laughs> How dare you? Huh? You kicked me out of the freaking womb. I'll take the turkey, but just get the hell out of here, ma. I kicked the hell. I said, enjoy the snowstorm. Ooh, you can tell dad he can stay. You sit in the car. Keys off. I'm sorry, ma. You shouldn't have kicked me out of the freaking womb, okay? How dare you? I can't figure out how you could think you could get away with this. You kicking Fudge out of the womb. You know I can't even find the librarian you had in your womb? They didn't even have a Dewey Decimal. Where am I going to find that Moby Dick copy? It was special. It was a special copy. Leather bound. That guy's nowhere to be found. I went to Florida looking for him. I'm like, well, you, did you spend time in 53 to 54 in Fachi's mother's womb? You're a librarian. You look the age. You look the age. You were probably in the womb. You're delivering my books. What would you like today, Mr. Little Fotch? <laughs> Get me a book called Moby Dick. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's leather bound. Thank you, Mr. Librarian. Whoa, what's going on? I'm kicked out of the freaking womb. I was on page 92. <laughs> Every other copy, when you get to page 92... It's a freaking different page. It's not the same one. I, can't, I don't know what to do anymore. I refuse to read it without finding out another copy. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I'm out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs>